Hi, I'm Haley, and today we're going to be making something very special. Recently, the Double Tree by Hilton released their super special chocolate chip cookie recipe, and we're going to try it out today because I've been there actually, and they're very good. They're like amazing. So I am going to be making a triple batch because my family loves these cookies but I'll just tell you the measurements for the normal ingredients because it is a lot if you triple it. So to start off, I'm going to put one cup of softened butter, three quarters of a cup plus one tablespoon of white sugar, and three quarters of a cup of packed light brown sugar. And I'm just going to set that in my stand mixer and mix it. Oh, also, I should probably say, I am wearing a hat inside. You probably already noticed that. But I got this hat when we went to New York last year and I really like it, so I decided I'm going to wear it. I don't care if it's inside. Okay, we did it. Just gonna mix it on medium speed for about two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down, scrape the sides. Now, I've got a lot of eggs, but you only need two. And now I'm going to wash my hands. Now I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice and one and a quarter teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now we're going to start by mixing this on low speed and then we're going to turn it up to beat it. On just on medium speed. Ooh, it looks so fluffy. Now I'm going to scrape down my bowl. I can't get that song out of my head. It's like we watched this movie called Arthur the other day. It's actually set in New York also, so everything is about New York today. It's a very good movie. There's Arthur's theme song, which they play at the beginning and the end, and I can't stop singing it. And it's a good song, but it's just really annoying when you have a song stuck in your head. I watched the old version with Dudley Moore, and it was really good. Moving on. Lots of flour. Some oatmeal. Salt. Baking soda and cinnamon. Okay, this is supposed to be two and a quarter cups of flour. <laughs> and then we've got one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of cinnamon. And I'm just going to whisk it all together. Oh, with my oatmeal. This is half a cup of rolled oats. Okay. I'm all done whisking it. Now with the mixer on low, I'm going to slowly add my flour mixture. <gasps> oh my gosh. When there's flour in it, you can see the picture like so much better. I've got this really cool spoon that I got for my birthday. It has a castle on it from Harry Potter. I'm gonna slowly add it in on low. <laughs> it's going to take so long. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Can you imagine working for Doubletree and your job is to make these cookies? That would be amazing. All right, last bit. Now I never knew this was a problem before, but the Double Tree cookie recipe says not to over mix it. I always thought it was okay, but I guess it's not. Wow, these are so fluffy, that is amazing. I'm taking it off the stand mixer now because we have to hand mix in our chocolate chips and our walnuts. Now once again, I've got a lot more 
than you would need for a single batch. But I'm going to hand mix in one and three quarter cups of chopped walnuts. There's no space for my chocolate chips. Um, I'm just going to do this and then I'll mix in the chocolate chips. It's like a monster. There's so much. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the best cookie in the world. Like, I just want to go stay at Doubletree because they were so nice and clean and they have really good cookies. Okay, now I'm going to mix in two and two thirds cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Do you see this? Yeah. Gosh, that is a lot of batter and chocolate chips. There are more chocolate chips in this recipe than flour. Isn't that crazy? Like, that just seems crazy to me. But that's how they get such good chocolatey cookies. What? I just, I just don't know. Finally all combined. Now I'm going to go preheat my oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to scoop out all the cookies. The recipe said that it's about three tablespoons per cookie of cookie dough. So I'm using my like medium-ish cookie scoop. Now I'm scooping out the second pan. All right, I'm done with my second batch. Oh wait, I'm gonna press them down. Anybody want a cookie? They're done, I think. They look beautiful. I'm so excited to try one of these, but first we have to let them sit on the pan for about a minute. These were in there for 19 minutes. It's been a minute and now we get to try one. Mmm. I don't even have words. And it's like a little crunchy on the edges, which is perfect. And then it's soft on the inside and it's warm. And it's, ah! Oh! I'm not wasting cookies. But this is just so perfect. And I think they taste just like the Double Tree ones. Thank you so much, Double Tree by Hilton, for putting out your signature cookie recipe. Because these are amazing. And I am definitely going to be making more of these. Well, thank you so much for baking with me. Let me know if you ever try to make the Double Tree signature cookies and how they turn out. I mean, obviously they're going to be very good, so I guess I don't really need to know that part. But just let me know. And I'll see you next time on You're Stirring It Wrong. I can't get it on. I'm scared for my mixer. So whisking 10, I'm sorry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One-handed, opening the box because my other bottle is empty. <laughs> Did you say put a couple clumps in? This is why I'm the baker. <laughs> I always drop flour, so I'm just kind of used to it. <laughs> but it's true, do, do, do. <sighs> Nobody will know. Oh, I can't do it.